In this video, I show you how to use a simple jig to cut tenons on your table saw. With this jig, you can cut perfect tenons every time safely and accurately. I made this simple jig out of 3 quarter inch plywood. The sides are approximately 10 inches square. In between those two pieces, I cut a bridge piece that's exactly the width of my rip fence on my table saw. Up at the top, I included a piece the same width just to hold the sides stable and square. Finally, I added a cleat that holds the workpiece vertically when cutting the tenons. A couple of toggle clamps help secure the workpiece during the cut. You could always use a standard bar clamp to secure the workpiece if the toggle clamps are a little awkward to use in any particular situation. Assembling the jig is fairly simple. I used glue and screws to assemble everything except for the cleat. The cleat I just secured with a couple of screws because as you use the jig, it's going to get chewed up at the bottom end. So occasionally you're going to want to replace the cleat, which means you also have to remove and reinstall the toggle clamps, but that's no big deal either. Now I want to point out that the bridge and the spacer at the top hold the sides of the jig apart and they're spaced so that they have a smooth sliding fit over the rip fence of your table saw without any play. Now before I cut the cheeks of the tenon using the tenon jig, I like to cut the shoulders of the tenon at the table saw first. This gives me nice crisp clean lines for the shoulder as I cut the cheeks. Now here I've got the piece clamped vertically in the tenon jig with the back edge against the cleat and the toggle clamps to hold it secure against the face of the jig. Now adjust the rip fence so that the inside of the blade is lined up to the outside cheek of the tenon as shown here. You want the waist piece to fall away from the blade and not be trapped in between the blade and the jig. When everything looks good and you're sure the work piece is clamped securely, go ahead and make the cut. Now as you cut through the cleat, you'll notice that it'll blow out and that's okay. It's doing its job in holding the workpiece securely and backing up the cut. Now you're going to flip the workpiece around 180 degrees. Make sure it's tight against the cleat. Clamp it down with the toggle clamps and cut the opposite cheek. This way the tenon is automatically centered on the thickness of the workpiece. Now you're going to rotate the piece 90 degrees to cut the side cheeks of the tenons. And here's where a bar clamp may come in handy. The end result is a perfectly cut tenon ready to assemble into your project. You can download plans for the tenon jig at woodworkersinstitute.com or at the link below.